gentlemen? Sure. All right. <clears throat> we're going to cut down a couple of trees right here, these two oak trees, and we're going to try and do it with a two-man cross-cut saw and uh, a couple of single-bit axes. And this is my hatchet for limbing. This is a single-man cross-cut saw and a double bit. And uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah. I've never used this saw before, so it's it's actually a pretty good saw. I don't think anybody's actually used it. I think it's it's uh, got it doesn't even look like it's been sharpened. I just took the rust off of it and got a new handle for it. And can't cut that tree good to fall the right way. They just take me out. Did y'all get incense on me? <laughs> well, that's all cut good. What are you making? Wedge it. For what? Oh, For to put under. Wedging it when he cuts it. Bot's doing pretty good. What do you think?
but I think that's what happened. Swap sides so we work different hands. Okay. Yeah. We can take breaks on each hand. Because I'm using my right hand over there more than I am my left hand, so I don't pull the handle off of it. Okay. Now I sharpen that one, it cuts good. This is a commercial for axes. This is the Taj Mahal of sauce hair. Y'all are going to resort to axes. I knew it when you started. Oh, we will, obviously. But, you know. Of course, we're better with axes. Well, I want I like a blades. smooth cut on that tree, Ben. I might want to set yeah, on it. Yeah. No splinters, right? Resort to axes. <laughs> Closes up on them, don't it? You're just trying to make some knots right now, anyways, right? Yeah. Cut down with axe to your knot. Yeah, we are to the almost to the front of the knot. Turns here in a second. Let me finish getting started. It'll be interesting swinging with them. Huh? Anytime is a good time to learn to be ambidextrous. Swap sides? Well, oh, there's two different types of oh, handle. My turn. Hey, I'll see you guys in a little while. I'll tell you. I ain't much into it. That's core of the wood is hard. Watch out, you're my swing here. If you had bolts or something in here when you tighten this up, it would push to it like that. And the tightener you got it, the tighter you get. Now I am. Okay, I've skipped the bark off of this because the bark swells and pinches the blade and kind of acts as a, it gives me friction when I'm cutting. And since I've done it on this side, I didn't do it on the other side, but since I've done it on this side, it was much easier to cut than the uh, the previous side. As far as the saw is not binding up as much. So if I do this again, say on that other tree, I'm going to turtle the tree. That way I don't get into the bark so much. Cutting it. Have you filmed the side with the notch in it? Yeah. But uh anyway. Alright, David. Wanna keep going until it brings us those bolts? What I'm saying is the one place it won't go is that way because the, the trees notched into this side 
and it's going to be cut in this side, and the grain's still holding it this way. Uh -huh. So it could fall this way, or it could fall that way. More likely that way because of the notch, and when we wedge it. But uh, what I'm getting at is, when we get close to getting cut, you'll probably want to get over at that side to, to clear it. Not behind this tree. That's the I side get behind that big oak tree. Because it's not going to fall that way. It'll fall that way, and it'll fall that way. Won't that work? Got a little bow. That'd be better. Well, I didn't have a one of them. Uh, well, yeah, we'll put put a bolt on the side that wants to slide off more. David's side over there has got a. I didn't put a nail on that. I put a nail on this side. I got extra nail. These staples might fit right in there. Look, see what that does. Yeah, but they're not big enough. It, it'll get to the edge of the, the metal before that. Here, David, untighten your, unloosen yours and set that in there. Yeah, I bet there's a piece. Yeah, ought to be a little block or something that goes in there. Yeah, let's loosen yours up and stick it through there. And we got a pretty good, decent ways with the wood. opening it up a little bit on YouTube of people telling us we're doing it wrong. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I think David's right on that one. A billion people comment on YouTube. It's so that it can cut. Up every so often, drive some the cut open. Watch it don't twist and I know, but you're taking it all the way through me. Yeah, it's falling down. Get back, David. Wow. Cool guys don't look at trees falling down. Yay! Hey, is it just like you said it was? Yeah. I can cut a tree down. Good. It's like right. tight there. It didn't yeah. grow very much in this space. It grew a lot right in here. And then this is all like short bands. That's some good one. Black in the tree. I just add to it, don't I? I cut tree. this tree down all by myself. I don't need no stinking saw. <laughs> Bone saws, ready. Ben, look at this.